Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a reading for the Virgos. Happy birthday to all of the Virgos. I hope you're enjoying your birthday season. Remember these messages will not resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave the rest. This is for the month of September. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell to receive notifications whenever I post. So let's jump right into it and see what messages Spirit has for the Virgos. Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Virgo for the month of September? Okay, three cards, blossoming abundance, broken hearts, and the world. So some of you, you have abundance coming in, happiness coming in. You may be going through a difficult time right now. You may have experienced a heartbreak, the loss of a connection, which is causing you to reflect and really look at life, look at all of your options, give you a different perspective on things. But you definitely have abundance coming in in spite of what you're going through in spite of the pain you're experiencing let's clarify the cards to get some additional messages clarify blossoming abundance Okay, so we have four of wands, celebration. So you are going to be celebrating. You're going to be celebrating some type of accomplishment. Spirit says career, so something major could be happening as far as your career, where you're going to be celebrating possibly a promotion, a new job, two of wands. So you're doing a lot of reflecting. You're reflecting on a past relationship, on a connection that recently ended. You're thinking about this person. You miss this person. Clarify the world. Strength, but you are strong. You are confident. You are going to make it through. You are going to heal. Your strength will carry you through. You have a blessing coming in. Something that you've been waiting for, something that you've always wanted. And I feel like whatever's coming in, it's going to take your mind off of this heartache, off of this disappointment. But whatever it is you're feeling right now, whatever you have just experienced when it comes to the end of this connection, it required you to pull from your strength, your inner strength. And it helped to make you stronger or is helping to make you stronger. And it's giving you a different perspective when it comes to life. So let's pull some more cards. Spirit, give me some more messages for the sign of Virgo. Spirit says you are healing. Spirit says, I have so many blessings for you. So many blessings for you. 
You're not going to have room to receive. So I have three cards. Empowerment. It says, when you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence. Unfold my true and radiant self, dear Lord. So yes, you are becoming stronger. You are becoming wiser. You are discovering your true and authentic self. You are feeling empowered. Like I said, although you are going through your healing phase or some of you, you have just went through this heartbreak, there's still other aspects of your life that are coming together and that is allowing you to feel empowered. You know that you can't accomplish and achieve anything and it's helping you to take your mind off of what you just went through when it comes to this connection. And focus it on things that truly benefit you. The next card is change. Don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that one next action. You can say to love. Just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it. Yes, change. You are changing. Like I said, you are reflecting. You are looking at your life. You are looking at the things that you want. And you're developing a new outlook. And this new outlook you're developing is creating blessings. Or is going to create blessings for you. Spirit says your cup is going to overflow. There's no need for you to keep thinking about this heartache, this pain. Take that pain and turn it into something that is going to benefit you. Let that pain motivate you. Let it be your motivator. Come from out the window and go take on life. Go take on the world. The last card, enjoyment. It says striving and pushing makes life into endless hard work. The more you're inviting love to take over, the more enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life, dear Lord. Yes, enjoy life. It's okay to work for what you want, but don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. Enjoy life. There should be something that you find rewarding, that you find beautiful. Something that makes you happy every day. Don't be so consumed and, and bogged down in work. Enjoy life. You are going to get to where you are going. You're putting in the effort. But don't forget to enjoy the process. To stop and smell the flowers. To really take in everything that is around you. The people that are in your life supporting you. Life is for the living. So I'm going to pull another card from the Spirit of Animals Oracle. prepared. You're the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. 
Don't let distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. So yes, you are a planner. You are a very hard worker, Virgo. But like this card says, do not forget to enjoy life. Do not forget to have fun. But at the same time, be mindful of people who are trying to distract you, who are trying to take you off course, who are trying to stop you from achieving your goal and put stumbling blocks in the way. Be mindful of people in your life because everyone isn't for you. Everyone does not want to see you be great. But yes, you are a hard worker. You are always prepared. You have a plan for the future. So go forth and do great things. But have fun while doing it. The next card is Grizzly Bear Power. It says, I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength. I never give up. I will succeed. So yes, you are very motivated. You are very motivated when it comes to accomplishing your goals. You honor your intuition. You honor that voice within that tells you yes or no. You honor the vibes that people give you. And you know how to interact with them based off of their vibes based off of their spirit power you are powerful and you will succeed like I said you have blossoming abundance coming in and you will be celebrating your success the last card Giraffe, visionary, rise above earthly matters, glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path, stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. So yes, you are a visionary, you are a creator. You are able to see the right path, you know which direction to take. All three of these cards... You are a very motivated person. You are very focused on your career. You're very focused on having success. That's what drives you. That's what motivates you. Even though you may have challenges and obstacles in life, I feel like for some of you, you don't let them get you down for long. You take that energy and you focus it on your career, on your endeavors, on whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. And that is a beautiful thing. But Spirit says, do not forget to enjoy life in the process. Do not forget to have fun. Because you're going to be successful. You are a planner. You are a hard worker. Success comes easily for some of you. You already have the foundation you need. But just don't forget to enjoy life. So I hope that these messages resonated with someone. I am going to pull one more card before I finish. And I'm going to pull this from the Guardian Angel Oracle. Since it's your birthday season... I can give you one more card. Spirit will give you one more card, I should say. One more card, Spirit, for the Virgos to end the reading. Okay. Healing. It says, listen to your heart. Love is the greatest healer. It has the capacity to balance and heal your emotions, thoughts, and perceptions, which in turn will heal you physically. Your angels are here with you and will help you dissolve your fears. Trust in the power of love to guide you and your life will magically transform. This card is confirmation that healing is occurring right now. Yes, you are healing. Spirit has confirmed it. You are healing. You are healing from this heartbreak. You are healing from this disappointment. 
And you are taking that energy and putting it towards something that you love, something that is going to better your life, bring you in prosperity, abundance, happiness, wish fulfillment. So just continue striving. Everything is working out in your favor. So remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.